Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'll be making a score system using these little gems, actually not these ones, another one that I will be creating. This was a gem that I created in a, another tutorial, but I don't want to use that gem, I'll, so I'll create a new one similar to that one, but a different code. And the way that this is going to do is to, whenever our player catches a gem, that must be a little bit bigger. like so whenever our player catches a gem the score increases by 10 and then we'll have some GUI showing here saying that the score is something okay so I've got this gem that I just put from here to there and made the size a little bit bigger and I'm going to edit the trigger physics 2D box collider trigger make the box a little bit smaller like that and let's add a component script collectibles and then you'll see that I already have a collectibles script this will be the collectibles 2.0 oops no points allowed collectibles 2 And the way that this is going to do is, is that every time that our player triggers one of these colliders, one of these gems, the, the gem will send a message to another script that we will later create. And that script will display the score, the total score, in the screen. So in here, all you have to do so in here what we're going to do is to create a void on trigger enter 2D with the collider to the parameter called other and if other dot tag equals player then we will delete this game object so destroy this game object and we also want to send that message to another script so right now I'm going to create that other script so that, so that I can show you how that actually works let's go into unity press ctrl shift n to create an empty game object and name it level manager you can put it at 000, zero, zero that really doesn't matter but wherever and let's create a new script called level manager okay and right now there is two ways that we can access this script from this script the first thing is by using this get component thing which I, I, which I can show you will not be using that but wherever you can still want to use it so something like public game object level manager and then have a here a level manager level man these are two variables or two classes or whatever and here in the start function you will set the level manager this is a level man to be equal to the level manager object and we'll get the component called level manager like this and what we are basically doing over here is that let me show you if I put if I put this level manager into the level manager game object, then that that game object will be saved in here, and in the script, Unity will access that game object and find this script in that game object, which is this script, and then would we could pass some variables, but that's not what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is just to type here public level manager 
uh, level manager and with this instead of doing all that it's this is basically similar but you know you only need one line and you'll see that here in our jewel that it now requests for a level manager which is the script in the which is this script but because we just can put that script over there we're going to drag the whole game object the whole level manager game object and this will find the script in that game object for us and we'll make it accessible okay so now still in our collectibles script we also want to create here a public int called gem points which should be the points of this gem and let's say that this one gives 10 points like so and now in the on trigger enter function what we're going to do is that we're going to access the level manager and run off one of its functions so first let's create that function so let's open that level manager in that level manager thing we want to create a function a public has to be public so that we can access it in the other script public void add point and a, a integer will be passed called points and what will happen in this function is that first off we're going to create here a variable it can be public it doesn't really matter public int score which is the score of the level and in this function what we're going to do we'll make the score equals to the score plus the points that we've added right now okay and with this function created the score will increase but right now we can't see it we'll later create a GUI text to display it but anyways in the collectibles when or whenever this gem is triggered we want to access the level manager script that we defined there because we drag this level manager game object into this slot over here and what we're going to do is to access that level manager thing and we're going to go into the add points function that we've just created and as you can see it requests for a parameter that we also that we named points and those points will be equal to the gem points defined on the script in this case in the script this gem will give 10 points and just like that we have some points created now to display the points we can use a GUI text but I'm going to actually make something a little bit lazier which is to use the void on GUI thing which is which I kinda don't like but whatever so type here void on GUI and then type GUI layout and this GUI layout thing what it does is that it doesn't make you worry about any of any positioning or whatever but usually you just type wanna type instead of GUI layout you type GUI dot label to make a label with a position and the content but I'm just going to use GUI layout dot label and we can put here only one parameter which will be the score parameter so let's type here score it may, we may need to convert this to string let's see yes we need this we need to convert this to string so type score dot to string like so and now it should be working and it is and first let's put this gem into the prefabs by by dragging it into the prefabs folder like so and now we have it here but you have to take attention to one little detail because when I drag the gem into the prefabs folder you'll see that this field over here gets gets reset so now there's nothing in there but in this one there there is so whenever you start a new scene what you should do is drag one gem drag the level manager into there and then instead of keeping dragging new gems we'll just 
press Ctrl D to copy it and this will give us more gems and now if you see if we go into one gem you'll see that the score is increased it's 10 now it's 20 now it goes back to zero because we did and that's it for today guys thank you for watching and see you next time in the next tutorial we'll be implementing a nice core system so see you around